What's up everybody, Bradley's Fan 9 here. Today I'm gonna show you how to get iPogo VIP. So some people were asking me, they wanted to see a visual of this and how to set it up. So I'll show you how to get set up for iPogo VIP, which is basically the pro version, similar to iSpoofer Pro from back in the day. And then I'll also talk about the differences between free and pro versions and show you a few of the features that you could take advantage of. So let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, you have to get the iPogo app downloaded in the first place. So if you go to that video there, that's my 3U tools video on how to install iPogo onto your device for free. Now, keep in mind, as you saw it there, it is known to crash a lot. Okay, now once you have iPogo installed, you can go to the settings, and this is where you could change all the different things. The game has a lot to offer. It's basically a different version of Pokemon Go that has an overlay allowing you to do other things and it has some in-game things to help you skip other events such as battling Go Rocket and things like that. So if you see at the very top there, it says VIP and then beside it, activate. So you're going to want to tap that one. Now here you're going to have to put it in if you already purchased a key, it'll be sent to your email and you can paste it there. But if you don't have one yet, right underneath activate it says don't have a key. Okay, so to get one of those codes, you go to the iPogo website. I'll link it in the description of this video. It's also a right easy access link on my website at the Spoofing Vault. And you could just type in iPogo.app and you'll get there just as easily. And then once you're at the website, you're gonna wanna go to that little list icon on the top right. And then you'll see it'll give you an option to purchase VIP. Now, as you see here, there's four steps that you need to follow. So first, you need to visit their Patreon account and then subscribe to them. And then you'll get an email from them. And then once you get the email, you'll be sent to reset a password for iSigner.app. And then you copy the key from there. But I'll show you all this process, but that's the basics of what we need to do. So first off, let's go to their Patreon account. Because you pay for this and they'll give you the code, so that's how you pay for the VIP. So you see here, it tells you the extra little benefits and things like that. So we're going to hit join, it'll send you to the patron. If you have an account, log in. If you don't, you could create a new one. So now we're in the payment screen, so as you can see here, 5 US. And it'll charge you, it says down here, January 1st, it'll recharge. So keep in mind, first of the month is when it recharges. So the earlier to the start of the month, the better. So this video is on the 2nd of December. So you're going to get charged on the 1st anyway. So if you get this later in December, they're most likely going to charge you again on the 1st. So you're only paying for like half a month almost. So keep that in mind. The earlier in the month, the better. So if you're, like I said, I was thinking of doing it on the 30th of November, but I thought might as well wait till the new month starts. So if you're that close, wait. But either way, you can pay with a credit card or with PayPal. So PayPal is extra safe if you got one of those. Tap pay with PayPal. And it'll ask you to sign in, obviously. So here you can see it. It's telling me my bank info that I'll block out. But it's telling you it wants to use my checking account to pay for it. And it's just telling me how extra safe it is and where it's going to come from. So I'm going to agree and continue. All right, so you see here, I'm successfully signed up. It says also sent to your email, benefits, details. And I just got an order confirmation on email saying that PayPal has gone through for five bucks. So now I'm gonna go into my emails and see what's up. Then after going into my junk file, you can see right there, it was sent right away. No reply, sign our app. So we're gonna go to that email. You see there, it tells you you, blah, 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 blah. It's only valid for 30 minutes. So you're gonna wanna do this pretty pretty much right away. So hit the reset password for your account option. It'll send you to iSigner.app. So here you make your own password. So then you hit reset once you got it. You do have to have a symbol in there. So I'm gonna hit save. It's always nice when you could have your iCloud thing locked in there for passwords. So successfully reset. So now we're gonna sign in. We should have our code in here. Yep, save it. So it has the email link to it. And then there you go. I sign in and there you go. There's my code. It tells you when it'll expire. And as you see here, 
The Patreon will charge you on the first of the month, but you see that the code will last until the six. So they actually do give you the full month basically, but hey, it's pretty much every month you pay five bucks US and you're good to go. So now I'm gonna copy this code and bring it into iPogo. Now keep in mind, you do not wanna be sharing your codes with people because they'll take advantage and it's not safe to do. People could start using it with other devices and you'll have to re-put in your code every time. So unless you've got a close homie that you split it with, keep sure that your code is safe from everyone else. And I would also advise to save it in your notes. All right, so now we're back here. We're in Zaragoza, Spain. Great place to go to. Lots of people know about Zaragoza, Spain. So now we're gonna go to settings again. We're gonna go to the top, as I said in the start of the video, go to the VIP activate. And now here you could plop your code and hit activate. And now when you look at the settings, it shows you your benefits of VIP settings and then the standard ones. So now since I have VIP, I'll quickly go through these. So one of the biggest things, they have a built-in POCO Plus. So basically you can auto catch and auto spin stops while walking certain routes. Now usually you would need to buy a POCO Plus, something like this, but you won't need something like this if you have the VIP for iPogo. So that's a big thing right there. You have this option where you could release it on catch. So you don't have to go and delete the Pokemon. It'll auto delete it if you know you're not going to want them. Live feeds is going to be for the fast Shundo hunting. That'll be a big one. Fast catch. That one will save you a lot of time. Fast catch is basically when you go to catch the Pokemon, it'll auto run. So if it's already caught, the game will run for you and you don't have to watch all that animation. You just hit them with the ball and with the enhanced throw excellent with curve on, you're almost going to catch it every time. And keep in mind right now, you get 2000 experience bonus for every excellent throw. So you could really take advantage of the experience and really grind it up here. One of the other things for VIP is the faster map loads, which will help a lot, especially if you're hunting down Shundos, because it'll mean you'll hop to a location, you'll hop back and forth, making the stuff on the map spawn faster. Block non-shinies. Oh, there you go, classic iPogo crash, it happens. But then there was also one more I'm gonna show you there. It's skip the go rocket battle, which is actually huge. You basically one tap the battle, you go to the C1 at the stop, you hit battle and it instantly will just send you straight to the catch screen for the shadow Pokemon. It's crazy. So basically you could see the benefits right away that you'll, you'll be able to catch things faster. You basically be more efficient at playing the game. So you could really maximize everything you're doing because time is money when you're playing this type of stuff. So much going on. The more you can do quicker, the better, you know. So skip animations and skip go rocket battle. So I'll quickly show you the skip go rock, rocket battle for the end of this video. By now you should have your VIP set up, know most of what's going on here and get ready to fully take advantage of being able to hop around and take full advantage of the game because, and when I say take advantage, I mean enjoy everything that's out there. It's really limited, limited to most people, so this lets you enjoy all of it. And again, if anyone's wondering about bans, no one have been banned on this since episode 14 of my Banwave videos, if you go check my channel. It's been quite a while, so it's also very safe to use. You could also go catch me on Twitch, or YouTube and things like that to ask me more questions. So, I'll quickly go show you one of these Go Rocket Battles, because it's pretty crazy. All right, so if you could get through without it crashing too much. So we're just gonna teleport to that stop. And there you go, we see a go rocket. So let's quickly test this one shot rocket business. All right, so he's gonna say a stupid little saying, no one cares cause he sucks and you're gonna hit battle. Remember if you have full on items, you won't get anything from them. So make sure to delete those. I haven't played on this account in a little bit. So it's got a little extra clutter going on here. And there you go. <laughs> I hit battle, pick my Pokemon, and then once the battle is about to load up, boom. He's pissed off that he lost. We win. Congrats. So you can see that saving a lot of time. So that's a big VIP bonus. 
Most VIPs probably don't even know that's in there yet, so keep in mind, you could do this. And there you go, Shadow Pokemon. As you see, iPogo will tell you the IVs. It will tell you that in the free version, so keep that in mind. It didn't used to. So there you go. I didn't have to curveball them. I didn't have fast run on, but you could see gotcha, as in I already know it was caught, but let's see the curveball experience as well, because might as well show you that. You see that? Excellent throw. 2,000 experience. Every single time it'll tell you that. And you saw my throw. It wasn't actually excellent. So one more quick thing I'll show you, because this is what I like to do a lot when I had the iPogo Pro. But see, it'll help you get these things a lot faster, and you'll be able to actually hunt down those Shadow Shinies better, which is huge. So I'm going to go to my settings. Let's turn on Fast Catch. So now I'm going to look at this Mistrevis. And you don't have to curve it or excellent. Once you tap it, boom, it auto runs from it. You caught it with an excellent curveball, you got the experience, and it's caught. So unfortunately, Hypogo crashed again, but that's common. But it has a lot of cool things you can benefit from. So that's just a little bit of information of what you got to look out for. So I hope this video helped you get set up with Hypogo VIP, understand the benefits and the differences between the free version. And if you have any more questions, like I said, reach out to me on Twitch. We got lots of people hanging out there, lots of people showing support. As you can see, this is kind of my Twitch border. I love hanging out on there. It's really helping me stay with all this stuff and really get grinding into it deep and just stick with it. Love it. Thanks to everyone out there supporting me. Much love. Enjoy the content, everybody. And I hope you have fun on Pokemon Go. Hope to see you out there. See you, everybody. Keep it real.